Hello, gamers. I know I got some 10 pieces. I got some 10 pieces. How did I do it? Um, let's just say it's highly possible I was underrating what the T-Rex is capable of. Let's also say, how about a gasping stinker? That I got a few runs where I got enough jellyfishes that they actually worked for me instead of what normally happens where I go, I'm going to try to make a jellyfish work, and then I only get one of them, and then I go, no, how could you, etc., etc. Now, also, I know that we just lost that round, but in the early game, the secret is ducks. This weekly, I want you to go duck wild. I want you to... <laughs> Duck yourself. Listen, okay, I just give me some time here. Don't tell me to duck off yet. Magpies go very well against these green beetles for sure. Let me get a level, please. My God, it happened. Let me get a musk ox, please. And then let me get a honey, not honey. Duck level? I don't think we want a duck level, Pippin. I think we want to buy this, and then we should put, like, you in front, and then... I honestly think the ox can go kind of crazy this week. I also think this is not going to be the most popular take I've ever had. I think early, and maybe only early, bacon can go crazy. Because there's lots of ways to scale HP. Tropical fish, you just saw one. Um, get a lemur and then get a radio. Like, scaling HP is fairly easy to conceive of working out decently for us right now. We want to set it up. We want you to be here. I know, this is a wild one. Just work with me. Maybe maybe we'll get something... Ooh, maybe we'll get something like that. I don't think we want the duck to level up now. But now this ox at the back is going to get two triggers. One from the duck and one from the dog. Unless there's some sniping, but... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of opportunities for uh, levels, or for HP scaling, not levels, HP scaling, and uh, I'm telling you that you could do pretty, pretty, okay, that's not very good, but you could do pretty, pretty well with some bacon. We've just been buying units instead for now. Clutch level, sure, we're on three life, that's not great, but otherwise, I'm not feeling too bad. Wish I could have bought both there, but that's life. Give me a lemur. It's only round four. Give me lemur into radio. And I honestly just think that our ox does more... It has more value at the front. But let's put it position three. Because we want to make sure that uh, the hawk is shooting position one. Because that's likely to be the strongest unit on the enemy team. Well, well, well. Wow, well, what have we here? <laughs> and we got to be a little creative. You can see our opponent has clownfish. God, I wish that were me. But it's not, so we got to figure out how we're going to set the squad up here. Um, I definitely think you with garlic would go nice. I'm not that sold on meat this week. Let's give you garlic. I, I've used meat a little bit, but the problem with meat is simply that sniping is so prevalent. So, like, anything that requires your unit to attack or to even live till the attacking phase... Oftentimes, it dies before the equipment gets a chance to fire. Now, this early on, it's irrelevant, but eventually it could matter. Now, I'm just I'm looking at what I'm seeing here. I don't think... Uh, I, if I'd kept my lemur, I probably would have bought another one. But otherwise, I think we're, we're working on something different here. And I, I'm not a worm guy this week. In fact, I would say I'm very anti-worm. You have to go... And a lynx is certainly good enough to run. It's like almost... Maybe calling it like a compulsory unit this week is not right, but it's it's close. Um, a deer allows us to pivot off of the magpie and keeps our yak at a good level. And then we're just buying salads. Honey also, I think, is a, buy, a good buy for a unit that you're going to keep around. Because with sniping being so prevalent... Holy cow, that's a strong beaver, man. With sniping being so prevalent, like, one of the only counters is just having, like, uh... We lose these? So close, though. Is having units that spawn units when they die. And you can obviously create that just via honey. Um, 
I'm I'm gonna get rid of the hawk to run a second clownfish. Now, this is a little dangerous. I would say I'm making kind of like a weighted bet, but we're gonna live till turn nine at a minimum. The squad isn't that bad. Part of the reason we have low health is because we just lost a lot of rounds early, which is, you know, disappointing, but it is what it is. It would not be that surprising for us to get a couple of levels next turn and then feel like we're in a, a better spot because of the double clownfish setup. It wouldn't be that surprising to not get it either. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. You're going to make me buy a chili pepper or something. Come on. I was going to like, nothing is just outrageous. It's ridiculous. I, I'm tempted to go like Spinosaurus, but I think we're that if the yak could level or the ox could level, there's a chance, but I feel like that round cemented us as like five wins is our max. And it's, you know, I'd love to blame the, blame the game for not giving me like what I wanted to get, but instead I have to blame myself for being so like stuck in my ways that I felt like the only way we could get there is via rolling. I know you're going to think this is sour grapes. I don't mean it that way. The team we just lost to wasn't even that good. And they, they cleared us. In that case, I know I just bought another one of you, but I think we... Okay, fine. For now, just throw a lionfish out there. I was going to sell the ox to make it happen, but I think we sort of need to... We sell closer to the start of a shop round rather than the end of a shop round. That seemed to go okay. Hang on, I think we win this one. I still think, like, I wouldn't be too disappointed about getting to five. I also think if we sell our ox, and then also our deer, and we start, and also our clownfish, and we start running a T-Rex to buff a lionfish, I actually think there's, there's something to be said about this. If our goal is to get to ten, then I think that this makes sense. In that case, I mean, you know we have to pivot off of you. I'm just trying to get my sniping team out there like one turn ahead of the enemy sniping team. <laughs> and uh, the stats on the squad are heinous right now and the T-Rex scaling is not even that much. But it's still, I know it's crazy to say it, but for this week, round 11 is still kind of early. I don't see a way we get through this squad though. <clears throat> so I think we were half victim of circumstances, half, you know, hoisted by our own sword on that one. We. It, it would be nice to pivot to the um, sniping build with a little bit more HP. But that's okay. Give me a duck. I'm telling you, duck is the meta very, very early this week. Let me be a, a bearded biker. Isn't it crazy that people who ride motorcycles stereotypically have beards, but people who ride bicycles stereotypically don't have beards because if they're trying to race, it's that's a lot of wind resistance. Is, isn't that weird? I'm going to level. I'm going to buy you just so I'm not four squatted. And I kind of don't really see that working out that well for us. What are you going to... this? It's got to be a 5-5 five, five frilled dragon. That's that's kind of something, actually, against a 4-4, four, four, but we still lose to the crickets. Okay. I mean, it would be nice to have more faint triggers. Pay attention. You can get a sheep on level up here, maybe. Like, this is good. I'm not a big swan guy this week. I guess I would sell. And then... I guess we didn't need to do it in this order, but whatever. Combine. It'll give us another one. Still no faint triggers. I do think there's... I And I think the ox is good with the cricket. I do think there's something to be said about tropical fish, but then I went back on that because I was like... I simply don't see the tropical fish having good targets to buff. Like, it's going to buff a, a cricket or a gerbil. Or it's going to buff a frilled dragon, and even, like, the frilled dragon is not a good buff because... Uh, Oh, son of a... <laughs> because uh, it's probably going to get sold at some point as well. Because we're going to run out of faint triggers. It just uh, doesn't tend to scale well to the late game. I'll take a frilled dragon. For now. I'll take a lemur. 
which gets a radio for some HP scaling. We have no faint triggers. I mean, you can buy this to recover some gold in the future. The, the gerbil is not likely to stay on the squad forever. <laughs> so, <laughs> at least it's better than re-rolling three times, maybe. I think I was overrating the, uh, the rice for sure, but hang on. A winnable round. We're still on full HP. I don't know why I'm so like disappointed in my squad here. I'll take my level. Hippo, knowing that it's going to get some scaling here, I honestly think it kind of goes crazy. And I think you should be placed here. Now, I understand you're not doing that much. We could take more faint triggers, but it, that sort of thing is in my tempo. I was hoping that would scale the hippo. This is good. I'm, I'm, I have to wait for you to pop. I'm going again. I, I'm, I appreciate that on the ox. I have to wait for um, the, the radio to pop. Then I can level up the lemur and get a level 2 radio. But I wanted the hippo to be out there. So we had the hippo getting some of the health scaling. Oh, is it strongest uh, squad of all time to still somehow lose to me? Okay, now I sound like I was sandbagging. And, and a... Another lemur, but I don't think the time is right. I think now we're, we're in the process of unwinding. So give me this and this. You can skip it for now. I know it's irrelevant either way. Give me the radio. Don't buy this one yet. Keep it frozen for a minute. You're an 8-9. I'm not going to give you garlic. What are you after two hits? You're a 6-11. What are you after one hit? You're a 5-9. You're an 8-9. I'm just going to give this to the hippo. And I, I know it's a little not that amazing right now. But we, the first three units on the squad, and also to an extent the last unit, are completely disposable. So it, it, the unwinding process here is going to be very, very delicate. And yet... we, we Listen, I'm just... I'm playing it round by round, and I'm... This is a slow pivot. Sometimes we do a fast pivot. This one feels like a bit of a slower pivot. I would say, sell me, move me, place me. I don't really want an eel, honestly. For now, I got no problem giving you that. I, I recognize we have HP scaling, so the eel seems like kind of a no-brainer, but I'm just telling you... For where we stand right now, I think getting these, this extra stat increase for now gives us our best chance possible. I may be mistaken, but I'm doing what I came to do, okay? I'll take it, brother. Look at that, okay? That's five wins. We've got five life. That's a great place to be. HP scaling. Give me one of these. Keep the other one frozen. It's a big penalty to keep it frozen for so long. Don't get me wrong. Toss me a deer out here. The ox still works, but it's close to being unwound. <laughs> I think it's time. You should go here. You should be frozen. <laughs> Next round is chocolate. This is a great time to have two clownfish in reserve. And if we win or draw this round, even better. But I will say this... You know, we're, we're getting up into the winner's bracket, and I'm not sure this is necessarily a winner's bracket compatible squad, but... Oh, we were very close to being in there, actually. Still still feel great. They can't all be flawlesses, right? I'm not taking my level on you yet. I know it seems crazy. I'm going to keep two spots frozen. I want to maximize... Actually, a boar kind of goes nuts here. Because you're about to give us a bunch of health. You know what? For now, I, I didn't think I would do it, but I'm going to do it. It's more important that our boar gets some stats versus our, our lemur. Boar has, has ruined me a few times this week. But I think the hippo level made a lot of sense, and I appreciate that it already had garlic. Please, thank you for spawning a bee. You may have just saved my life. If we can make it to sheep... If we can make it to sheep, brother... Let's go! <laughs> Listen, it's... 
Maybe he shouldn't be celebrating a situation like this. I've seen hippos pop off before, but feels good, man. Feels good. I'm, I mean, I feel like we should keep the scaling going as long as we can. You should take this. And honestly, why don't you take this as well? We're, we're almost slow playing it here. It would be easier to just get a level on a clownfish or on a deer or something like that, but that's not, that's not the, necessarily the best route towards success, I think. When we got a lot in reserve, we can shoot in burst fire instead of full auto. Maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't. The boar looks bad now, but it's just because it hasn't had a chance to do anything. More chocolates, please. No, no chocolates, roll me. No chocolates, a lemon, a pita. I'm rolling. Chocolate, Throw that goes to the boar. Nice level. I definitely think a lionfish is great. I think it's probably better than our clownfish now. Um, and a pita on somebody? I mean, a pita on you is better than garlic if we can at least... You know what? You're probably going to get sniped, so the pita makes perfect sense. We need to find a way to scale the lionfish. It's, it's pretty tough. There's not many scalers this week. It's like just the T-Rex. Okay, so you're getting skewer. Skewer's not ideal. In fact, he pretty much just, you know, rinsed me. <laughs> we weren't up by that much, but it wasn't close. You break. You level. You're in 815. We definitely want radio still. That was my mistake earlier, taking too much garlic, not enough radio. It's a part of me that thinks we can go totally psycho mode on this. Here's how it would look. Sell the deer. Sell the lemur. I thought you were a T-Rex. <laughs> Taper here, knowing that it'll spawn a lionfish. And then hope you get a T-Rex. Snail doesn't work the same way it used to. We got a T-Rex. Okay. And then I think we can put the T-Rex at the front for now. And I don't think it's going to live, but given our circumstances, like i.e. the amount of money we have, we might as well just give it a tomato. A scaled lionfish is like scarier than almost anything in this game. Okay, so they're on the same T-Rex build. So you can just apologize, because obviously I was cooking. Obviously I'm on to something. Theirs is a little bit better by a lot. Before start of battle. Before start of battle? So like at end of turn? This doesn't happen in battle? Am I only just now realizing this? Oh, but it only gives friends. We should have put it on the taper. We'll get another one. Then we'll put it on the taper. I know the hippo's not scaling here. My, the, the thing that needs to happen, the game needs to meet us in the middle and give us a pita trigger on this for us to stand a chance. Okay, useless tomato. A pita trigger. I would say now we stand a chance. I would say now you're rinsed. This has potential 10-piece written all over it. Not guaranteed, but it has potential 10-piece. This is our last easy HP scaling, but we got quite a lot of it. I would love for you to spit out a level 2 lionfish. I know we could also... I mean, the boar is pretty important, to be fair. I, I know it's very... Oh, but we can only get one or the other. Oh. Okay, I'm taking boar simply because we already have a level 2 lionfish in theory coming from the taper unless the lionfish gets sniped first. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is the, did I have the pancakes confused? Maybe they are not permanent. They're, they aren't permanent. But we got our pita trigger. I think we win this one. I see the spinosaurus. I see the turkey. And I'm still saying to myself, I think we win this one. I'm still feeling great. Yep, yeah, keep buffing the sheep. I really appreciate it. Finally, our boar gets a chance to shine. We Our taper... <clears throat> pardon me. Our taper has not gotten a chance to shine yet. That's the annoying part. You need this. Our T-Rex hasn't really gotten a chance to shine either, but... <laughs> Could it work? I think, there's a, I think there's a shot in here. Rare, like non-sniping build and of course my opponent is now on a non-sniping build so I look like a insane person calling it rare shoot him shoot him shoot him you gotta shoot him it didn't get the job done did it oh but oh it did it did <laughs> oh. oh so you could look for better equipment knowing that the pancakes are not what I need necessarily huge 
take another one. We got two life. We can afford to take our time a little. I'll just own this, like, in all honesty, I don't expect a level three hippo to be that important. The hippo is like our least valuable unit. In battle, the T-Rex is our least valuable, but outside of battle, the T-Rex the is our least valuable unit. He did it, he did it, he got there. We screwed up their whole combo and it's over. Holy cow, 10 piece. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're gonna run it back for one because we can run it back for one. Freeze me, see if you get a duck. No duck. No duck. I think I sell this chinchilla just in case the buff would have gone to the chinchilla. Because I'd like to put it on the thing that I could that I get after I sell rather than the thing that I sell to then get a tutu. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter at all. Basically, we're just using the chinchilla for a level anyway. Let me be a shy package. Let me be a befuddled boogeyman. He sleeps under the couch. Wait, or he sleeps... Ah, I just ruined the joke. <laughs> See, he's under your bed waiting for you to go to sleep. But he doesn't know that you and your spouse had a fight, so you're sleeping on the couch. It's not based on real life. I'm just coming up. I'm just spitballing here. Don't make it weird. Here, one of these, one of these. I love it. I, I mean, this... In terms of the stats, I like the squad right now. Don't need to take the chinchilla higher than level two, I think. We win these! It took me way too long to do the math. I'm a little embarrassed. And I, you see it from me and you know it's true. I love a lemur this week. My mistake earlier was thinking that the lemur is great because of garlic. When in reality, the lemur's great because of the health scaling. Mostly because there's like very little other scaling this week. And I think, just being realistic with you, I think the, the ox, which I've called a yak about 100,000 times, is at least early game playable. So I think you could put this out here because you get two triggers. And then the rest of the squad looks okay. Rather than meat, I think I'd rather just buy bacon. Because meat has been nerfed again. I love playing a weekly with no moths, too. Feels like you can never be confident in, in like a big first unit. The last few weeklies, because there's always a moth coming out to destroy him. Not that we have a big first unit here. Quit bragging. You leave. But you're the closest one to level up. <laughs> That's fine. Now you're the closest one to level up. I would roll. If we're gonna try jellyfish, I think there's two things to consider. One is level up units, obviously. The other one is stay flexible. Just because you, you're on a jellyfish build doesn't mean you have to stay on a jellyfish build forever. It's not even close, though. My team is just worse. But it would be really nice to get some matches. There's eight. It's a match. With health scale... Well, I was going to say with health scaling, an eel goes crazy. But we don't really have health scaling. We simply have one lemur. Very important unit here. You're also not that useful anymore. You're in extremely useful. You're very important just because you have meat. Why am I keeping you around then? Good. Well, because you could level up uh, and buff our jellyfish. You need... I would almost be inclined to say that you need the jellyfish by, like, the next round in order for it to... Oh! <laughs> please! In order for us to, to stand a chance with the jellyfish. Otherwise, we got to start considering jettisoning it. Okay, you had your chance. You had your chance. Two of these now. If we're going to lose, which seems likely, we're going to set up to possibly springboard that loss into a win if we're lucky enough to eventually at some point get some levels! Like, for real? I got units! Their, their squad is like high-tier units. I'm realizing the error of my ways. <laughs> we're on two life. 
But man, oh man, if we get one jellyfish, everything can fall into place. I'm making bets, and they are not coming to pass. There's something. What do you got? We pretty much have to take it. I'm glad it was useful. I mean, I also don't mind the pet that gives skewer to everybody. Or the to the one unit behind it is what I meant when I said everybody. <laughs> I should have ended on the 10-piece, man. What a disaster. My clownfish! That's like my one of my strongest units. Although... No, we got no shot. We got no shot because your frilled dragon is like way too strong. Okay, we're on the extreme loser's bracket here. You love to see that, but we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. We have to sell you and try a second deer. Okay, and then if we're blessed to live till the next round, please God. The hippo always scares me when I'm running a squad like this. Or, like, always, no matter what. Oh my god, we won. Okay. <laughs> I'm not insanely rinsed. I'm just probably pretty rinsed. Chocolate also exists now. Brother, I'm here to tell you we need a lionfish and we need chocolate. We, we needed chocolate yesterday, but at least we got some chocolate today, so our jellyfish stands a chance. And I'm here to tell you, I don't know what we sell, but the taper and the lionfish worked very well together last game, and also it's kind of a fun and semi-unexpected combo. Great, great units to shoot there right off the bat. We're definitely going to four wins. I'm no longer as embarrassed as I, as I once was. Probably the sell is the clownfish. Because... We're looking for, like, a full T-Rex squad, so the deer would also go. And so would the jellyfish, to be fair. <laughs> so would everything. We need to live, so that might... It's an expensive purchase, but it's a purchase I'm going to take nonetheless. And then we'd love you to get triggered twice, so we're going to do it like this. And It's not a great-looking team for turn 10, but it's a squad that's in transition. Maybe there's a... What's our taper becoming? Our taper became a jellyfish? Oh, good snipes. You got me. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with another one. I hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. I'll see you next time. It's a good weekly this week.